Well, I've got some groceries here in Natchez. No matter what happens during the day, and no matter how late you feel like you are, you still got to eat, you still got to go set up camp. So now I'm going to head back out into the thick of it. It's been raining pretty good now the last hour. And go over a great big bridge to get to the other side of the Mississippi River. And then I can go to the campground. There it is. <laughs> all that steel. And all those trucks. Somewhere on the right side. I hope to be able to squeeze my bike through as I go over the Mississippi River. If I'm successful, I'll still be alive in Vidalia and I'll roll into the campground and have a story to tell. Among all the things that I've done on a bicycle, I must say I won't soon forget that, riding over that steel structure. That's Route 84 over the Mississippi. Just over my left shoulder, that's the levee. The river is immediately on the other side. Very kind person and a big pickup truck rolled up behind me. They rode close to me and kindly and protected me from the traffic that was otherwise speeding by. Man, I tell you what, my heart was so full of love when I realized what they were doing. That's no place for a bicycle right there. But it is possible to go over that bridge. Just be prepared for a new experience. things are as comforting to somebody on a long journey than to have your laundry washed, dried, and folded just hanging out there next time I put those clothes on, including the clothes I'm wearing right now because I did my laundry in a towel. <laughs> Fortunately, these laundry spaces at RV parks and campgrounds, they tend to be ghost towns. So if I can just wear a towel, I will, and I'll wash everything that I have. I'm very fortunate to be in this RV park. It's a family-run facility, and everybody has treated me as if I, too, am family. I just finished a dinner, homemade chicken gumbo, provided by the assistant manager. He heated it up and brought it here to the laundromat so I could enjoy it. And that's how it's been since I arrived. It's like pedaling into a group hug here at this RV park and resort. I'll share more details tomorrow. I'm considering staying an extra day. In the meantime, I'm gonna get some rest. It's the 11th of September, and I'm standing on the Mississippi River on the Louisiana side in Vidalia. You can easily see that bridge over my left shoulder. The divided highway, a bridge for either side, crosses the Mississippi there into Natchez. And that's where I came out of last night as darkness was approaching. I arrived to this wonderful RV park over my other shoulder and quickly discovered that it was full of exceptionally kind people and generous too. And I decided to book a second night almost right away. I've spent that day now nearly complete. It's starting to get dark. I'm thinking about the evening's activities, nothing too serious. Another shower and I may sit in the hot tub and tomorrow morning I'll be up early and on my way by eight o'clock, and I hope to ride 100 miles, mostly west, after I clear some spaces to the south, including the Chafalaya River, that if you've ever read John McPhee's The Control of Nature, could one day be the exit point of the Mississippi River itself. The Army Corps of Engineers manages a gate along that river, and I'm gonna go right past it. Departure time here at the Riverview RV Park. 